Hey there, I have another Ipsy unboxing of April to do. I cannot believe it's April. I can't believe that it's almost summertime. I say almost summertime. We're, we just got in spring, but like everything's been going by so quickly. It feels like it was literally just Christmas. And now I have like five weeks of school left and it's coming quick. And I'm stressing, I'm a little stressing over here. I'm moving again. But I haven't announced where yet just because it's not 100%. So licenses, transferring to other states, it's not like if I were in marketing, I can just pick up another marketing job in another state. It doesn't work like that. Um, I have a specific counseling license and my boyfriend has a teaching license. And some states, they have it to where it's on agreement an Ohio license will transfer over there, no problem. Um, the state that my boyfriend got a job at <laughs> is not that way with our state. Um, and for some reason, Ohio was like, hey, we're gonna like ditch the whole counselor test that most of the states do and make our own. So I have it even more uh, troublesome because <laughs> we have a completely different test than any other state because they wanted to based on others. Ohio actually has a harder counseling program to make you do more hours of internship, um, which is good, just more experience, unpaid internship though, which did suck. If you've been following me for a while, you know, uh, when I was doing my, it was like two years or a year and a half of my internship unpaid, I lived with my parents, um, so that was very helpful, but yeah, it's not, not always the best. Um, but yeah, I haven't, uh, my license has not went through. <laughs> I just sent an email today, just check in and be like, hey, just making sure uh, I have everything turned in because I haven't heard from you guys in a while. <laughs> I'm getting nervous though. His license hasn't went through either yet. I think for teaching it's a little easier, um, but with counseling it's just, hopefully it works out. If it doesn't and they're like, we're denying you, usually it's like, you need to do an extra couple classes that Ohio didn't have you do, or do um, supervision, or take their praxis test, which makes me a little nervous, because I haven't, it's been like four years since I've been in my grad program, so I would hope I would remember it, but I, it's not fresh in my mind. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, no matter what, we're moving though. But that's why I haven't like announced it yet because it's not a million percent positive yet. We're like at, I don't even know. I don't even want to put a percentage on there. I'm nervous. <laughs> Anyways, that's not what the video is about. This is an Ipsy unboxing. I apologize for any of you that did not care and you're just here for Ipsy. Hopefully you just forwarded right through that. Let's undo the tape. The last couple months, they've given a lot of skincare and I um, haven't purchased skincare on my own in a while because I'm always just hoping there's some in here and it usually is so that's what I'm hoping again I am almost out of my eye cream so fingers crossed there's something in here I'm right now using the uh, Sunday Riley good jeans anti-wrinkle cream I haven't noticed a ton yet I've been getting fine lines pretty bad on my forehead so I've been like every night putting it on, hoping. I've even considered getting Botox. I think I've told you guys this before. I just can't really afford it right now, but maybe in the future. Okay, force of nature. Whether you love your naked face, hashtag skincare is a new foundation, or feel naked without your red lipstick, do what feels natural to you. When confidence is the first step in your routine, you can't be stopped. Hashtag ipsy force of nature. Okay. So this is about natural beauty, which is good because I have not been wearing makeup, so like, while I love getting makeup, I just feel, it makes me feel guilty that I don't use enough of it. So maybe we'll get some sun care products, some skin care, anything to help my aging skin. Okay, let's do Ipsy bag first per usual. There are little greenery looking things and lips on here. That's a cute bag. It's just a little, uh canvas bag I again like put anything that I am like I'm definitely not gonna get any use out of that I put it in my hallway outside my office that I have like a take what you need section 
um, myself and then the success liaison in the hallway, kind of like dual team it. So the kids enjoy this and I always put the bags in there. Ooh, I've been wanting to try this. I've seen this. This is by Tatcha. It's called the Water Cream. It's supposed to be really like lightweight, which is good because I do have oily skin. So like I don't need a really thick skincare product unless it's winter and sometimes I do get like patches. But right now you can tell it's oil city. I don't have anything on my face other than not Tatcha. Tula, their acne fighting moisturizer and then the Tula vitamin C brightener. I love any vitamin C product. Pore affecting Japanese wild rose for a normal to oily skin. Doesn't really have a scent. Um, just smells fresh. I will get use out of you because I'm about four pumps away from being out of my moisturizer, which is perfect timing. Um, oh, I almost pulled out of the other bag. There feels like there's way more products in this one. We'll have to count it. And then by Milk, this is the Kush Mascara. I said it and I'll say it again. I absolutely love me some trial size mascaras because I have been suffering for the last two and a half, three years with uh, reoccurring eye size just on my lower like lash line. I've got little baby ones drives me insane but I end up like having to throw mascaras away because that's another way for bacteria to get in your eyelash line and um stuck in here and then it's just even more reoccurring so I don't even wear makeup anymore but every once in a while I'll wear it but then if I have this I don't feel bad when I just use it once if I end up having a sigh during that time I'll use it more if like I don't have any right now I have one over here so like if I put mascara on I wouldn't be able to use this again I don't even put mascara on my lower lash line. Like I just put it on my top, just knowing that I might get one. And I still get rid of it just because I'm like super and nervous about it all the time. This is by The Nude Co. This is called The Pill All-in-One Serum. AHA plus vitamin C plus HA. What is that? Everything your skin needs in a single dose. 27 non-toxic non -toxic ingredients including glycolic acid. I cannot talk lactic acid and hyaluronic acid plus tiger grass to deeply hydrate resurface plump and tighten the skin two pumps to face after cleansing follow with moisturizer i'm gonna start using you in the mornings i have a nighttime the sunday riley is just for the sunday riley is just for nighttime because it has retinol in it um but this sounds like i can use it in the mornings too just for an extra boost of anti-aging so right now i don't use anything in the mornings that has anti-aging stuff in it just the vitamin c and then by rms beauty this is a living luminizer i'm confused by why it says i don't like the word living in it you know what does that mean? So, huh, huh. okay. It looks like it's just a cream illuminator where you would use it on a bare, oh, okay, I can, this makes sense along with the theme, like natural beauty, because um, this looks very, I'm just gonna use it because I feel like I'm gonna wanna use this. This, you know what, reminds me a little bit of Milk Cosmetics has a bunch of illuminizers, illuminators, and it kind of like almost looks greasy, which I think is why I didn't use the milk one. Although that looks really good in the camera though. It's right here. I don't know. I'll have to try it. Worst case, I'll let one of my kids try it. Never, uh, never had anything I don't think by RMS Beauty. No, that's a lie. I have. Just kidding. Wow, that's four products already, and there's still more in here, and there's usually only four, so. This is by My Skinny Mask Australia. For all skin types, apply a layer onto clean skin, avoid eye area, let dry, and rinse after 10 minutes. So it is a mask. Ooh, it's a turmeric and vitamin C clay mask. I was reading the wrong side, maybe? I don't know. Um, but it says, you glow girl, made in Australia, vegan and cruelty free. I've never used a vitamin C mask, but they are listening. I love vitamin C. I will have to try that. My skin has not been amazing this past week because I am on my period. Um, 
I get hormonal acne right along like my jawline and then on my chin and uh and I have you can't really tell I guess with the lighting but like my forehead's pretty broken out there it is yeah okay by my mm, uh, mystic this is a hydro serum and what does that mean oh it's a hair serum oh an essential dose of added nutrition and finishing touch for an immaculate and visibly healthy hairstyle from nourri nourishing tonight from morning to night. So apply to damp or dry hair and then style. Hmm. I will have to draw you. My hair has not been great. It's been very tangly lately. I say that all the time, but like even more so this past couple weeks. I think it's, I think I just need a water softener or something. I don't know. It's not, it needs help, so maybe that will do it. <laughs> I use a uh, leave-in conditioner by uh, Kenra, and I love it, and it smells really good, but it does not always help with my tangling. This is by, this is really pretty. This is by Bare Minerals, the Mineralist Lip Gloss and Balm, and it's in the color Serenity. No, it's in the color Sincerity. <laughs> Oh, it has glitter in it, too. It's a cute little baby size. I do enjoy that. I feel like that's a very natural and uh, universal color that you can pretty much wear with anything. Almost probably would match my lips some. Okay. Was that everything? Yes. That's a lot. That's one, two, three, four, five, six seven that's way more than we ever get so definitely i almost want to say it's the no definitely the best glam bag and most products that i've had since i picked up the subscription again so great month of april okay now on to glam bag plus the first thing i already see it i know i'm gonna hate it but someone's gonna end up liking this so we'll pull that out first it is a bucket hat um, and it says Force of Nature on it, and it is a bucket hat. So I know these are back in style. Don't get offended. I know some of you watching definitely own one. Um, I can't get into this. They, uh, I don't even think I was into this back in the 90s when they were in style. My sister had one, that's for sure. I think she had one from Limited 2. <laughs> um, I'm putting this in my hallway, but... It is great for the sun and keeping the sun out of your face. Oh, I needed this. Thank you. I needed this so bad. This is definitely one of the um, Ipsy OS subscriber add-ins. Um, it's an umbrella. I mean, you guys know what that is. I break all of them. The wind actually breaks all of them. It's very windy here all the time. So... That's wonderful. I actually needed this today. I wish I would have opened this sooner because it was raining and I didn't have one. And it's yellow and says Ipsy and that's cute. So I'm excited for that. The next thing is by The Balm. It says The Balm and The Beautiful. If any of you, um, some of you may even watch it, but my mom was always into The Bold and The Beautiful, which is really funny that this is called this. And it says episode one of one. This is an eyeshadow palette. It says clean beauty in green packaging. Let's see what colors are in here. Get out. Oh, those are so pretty. Look at there's colors. Very much a neutral palette. Cut, green screen, autograph, makeup artist, cliffhanger, chick flick, red carpet, and rule credits. Those are the colors. I love that. I probably will give this to my mom just because she loves that show and it's really funny. Very cute. I um, would keep it, but I've been in decluttering mode nonstop just because we're gonna be moving states and we are taking just like maybe a 16 foot U-Haul. So I'm trying not to take a lot of stuff on our move. Okay, the next thing, there's only two products left, so that's I'm wondering if this um, everyone end up getting, because that'd be one, two, three, four, five. That actually might be in everyone's box. This is by Light Sauce Item, or the brand's item, 
and it's yes the brand's item and it's called light sauce it's a balancing gel moisturizer for oily and combo skin this is a lightweight gel moisturizer moisturizer that hydrates and balances skin with glycerin tiger grass extract murmur murmuru i cannot say that word butter and ceramides to replenish natural moisture won't clog pores or leave any greasy feels cute i do appreciate a moisturizer i don't know i'll have to look and see maybe i can declutter some of my other ones um this is such adorable packaging you know me and i get sucked into a cute bottle i've not heard of this brand but i'm definitely going to do some research and then lastly, other than, of course, it comes with the bag, which, again, is cute. And I'll also be getting rid of that. This is by Coco Kind. It is a oil-to-milk cleanser, a prebiotic cleanser for a soft and replenished skin. So it is, I mean, obviously, it cleans your face. I'm not sure with the prebiotics what that helps with. So it's supposed to help support your natural flora and promote pH balance. And it's made with, it's a made clean, so it doesn't have um, a lot of like artificial fragrances, toxins, sulfates, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Let's look at this one and see what she looks like. Cute little guy. I say girl and guy for all the products that are... There is no gender on them. Okay, that is everything. I don't know, favorite product. I think the most practical product in here for myself is gonna go to the umbrella. That's my win for the day. I think the one that I'm probably most excited to try is going to go to which one of you? I think, okay, I've been excited to try the Tatcha, and that's a pretty good size, but I'm kind of also intrigued by uh, the pill serum that I can start using in the mornings. Everything in here I can use. I'm not going to use, well, I'm not going to use all of it because, like, you know, the bucket. I just can't. Um... I think for everyone else that maybe would have gotten this box, this would be their favorite. And while it is, but I'm not keeping it. So I'm not even counting that into like an option to be, you know? This is really pretty though. And I do love the balm products. I think this was a really good month. I'm happy with this. Okay, I'm going to head out. Leave me in the comments below. I have a question. I have a, I'm looking down because I have a bin just filled with uh, empties. And do you want to see them now or do you want to wait until right before I move and have like four months of empties in one? Like a current empties. Let me know. I don't know if it's the more the merrier or the less the better because I can do it now and then do another one then. I just don't know which route to go. Okay. Love you. See you soon. Bye.